Hi, welcome to the Piano Podcast. I'm Mario Ajero. I'm here with my son and piano student Antonio Neo Ajero. Often pianists have issues playing piano concerti when they have no orchestra to practice with. And in today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to practice piano concerti using a Yamaha Disc Clavier piano, player piano, along with various other software programs. There are two software programs you can use in conjunction with the Yamaha Disc Clavier piano that can really empower you to feel like you are performing a concerto with a live orchestra. One is Home Concert Extreme, which was created by Frank Weinstock and George Litterst, and it takes any general MIDI file and displays it as beautiful looking music notation but it's also a smart accompaniment program that will adjust playback of the MIDI file to whatever tempo and dynamic level that the pianist plays. The other is the Garretton Personal Orchestra. This is a sound library of lifelike orchestral instruments, and the Garretton Aria Player can be used as a home concert extreme plugin to replace generic MIDI sounds with a realistic orchestral experience. Not only are the Yamaha Disc Clavier Mark IV and E3 Pianos great acoustical instruments, but both models offer digital capabilities including being able to connect to computers directly through the USB port. Also, since the Garretton Personal Orchestra will be supplying the orchestral accompaniment sounds, you can connect the computer's audio directly into the Disc Clavier's audio inputs so that the orchestra can sound through the Disc Clavier's built-in speakers and even use the piano soundboard as an amplifier. So my son Neo is working on this Haydn Divertimento. It's a nice piece to introduce young students to a concerto environment, even though it's more like a concertino and not a full-blown classical concerto. This MIDI file was arranged by Dr. Stellas Bronsburg Sick, and it was optimized to work well with both Home Concert Extreme and the Garretton Aria player. Here in measure 145, there's a long trill for the pianist to play. Since every pianist plays trills differently, this is an ideal time to tell Home Concert Extreme to not follow the soloist playing. I've already grayed out these notes and programmed it not to follow this track of notes. You'll also notice this fermata on the G after the trill. The pianist can decide how long he'll hold it by telling Home Concert Extreme to wait for the attack of the next note. It's highlighted in red to indicate that the orchestra will stop and won't commence until that G is struck. The T is also another marker that you can set to tell the orchestra to resume the original tempo regardless of how the soloist may have gone into the preceding fermata. One interesting problem is that if the program is set to wait for the attack of this G, how can Home Concert Extreme distinguish it from the preceding fermata G or the numerous Gs that come before it? Fortunately, we can also set up what's called a special signal before the soloist re-entrance by right-clicking on this eighth rest and under general markers, select wait for special signal. If you are playing with a live orchestra, this would be the equivalent of the soloist making eye contact with the conductor and signaling that he's ready to proceed. You can define these special signals by going into the Home Concert Extreme preferences and selecting which MIDI input event that will tell the orchestra that it is safe to proceed. I've set the special signal to be controller number 67 which is the una corda or soft pedal on the left. But you can define it to any of the pedals or keystrokes, but one of the pedals is probably the most discreet way to trigger this special signal. So when you watch Neo play through this divertimento, check out how he signals the orchestra using the left pedal. Hope you enjoy. Push the space bar. Now it'll start whenever you start.
I hope that gives you guys a little sense of an idea of what you could possibly do with practicing piano concerti with the Yamaha disc clavier player piano along with the Home Concert Extreme and Garrett Personal Orchestra. If you have any questions uh, about the setup, feel free to contact me through Facebook or Twitter. And if you happen to be in the Fort Worth area on April 28th, uh, 2012, uh, Neo's going to be performing this Haydn Divertimento first movement as part of the uh, Yamaha sponsored uh, Piano Concerto Festival at Texas Wesleyan University in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, that's it for this time. Take care and keep on practicing. Bye.